Welcome to another production of the T3 Technology Training Team. Are you a scheduler who has been asked to assign students to a clever course flag, but you're not really sure what that means? This video will provide an overview of the purpose of the clever course flag and walk you through the process of how to use it properly. When students need access to most of the digital resources in PGCPS, Clever is our go-to solution. Usually, access to a resource is based on the schedule in Schoolmax. All students and teachers assigned to a course can access the resources. Sometimes, only a small number of students within a class will need access to a specific tool. This is often the case for intervention and acceleration programs such as iReady, Lexia, or First in Math. In this case, the identified students and educators are assigned to the Clever course flag in Schoolmax. As with all schedules, the students are assigned to a course and a section. The course ID is based on the student's grade level. For example, kindergarten students would be scheduled for Clever KG while a fourth grader would be scheduled for Clever ES. Please refer to the Clever Course Flag Guide for more details. The section is based on the specific digital tool the students and teachers need access to. For example, students who need iReady through special education would be assigned to a section between 10 and 29. It's important to note at the elementary level, instead of corresponding to a grade level, the sections are directly related to the digital tool. Please refer to the chart in the Clever Course Flag Guide for more details. Let's take a closer look at the process. In this example, elementary students will need access to Lexia to participate in a reading intervention. To begin, the program coordinator provides the school scheduler with the name of the tool, the relevant section ranges, a list of students, including grade level information, who will need to be scheduled, along with the section number that should be used, and the name of the teacher who should be assigned as the primary educator. Once the scheduler has all of this information, the students can be scheduled in Schoolmax. In our example, Elementary students need Lexia for a reading intervention. So kindergarten students will be assigned to the course ID Clever KG using sections 250 through 259 as indicated by the program coordinator. The remaining students will be assigned to Clever ES and to a section in accordance with the Clever guide. After students are assigned to sections, don't forget to assign the primary educator. Once the schedules are complete in Schoolmax, the scheduler can alert the program coordinator or department chair the schedules are done. After the nightly data sync between Schoolmax and Clever, the students should be all set. However, some applications may require additional in-app setups. If there are challenges with the scheduling process in Schoolmax, reach out to your T3 trainer or student apps. If students or teachers cannot access the application via Clever, confirm they are assigned to the proper course and section in Schoolmax and that a primary educator has been assigned. If they are assigned properly in Schoolmax but still cannot access the digital tools, Refer to the help on the Clever page of the T3 website for additional troubleshooting steps. Thank you for watching another production of the Technology Training Team. Please refer to our website for additional resources and information.